in the Facebook stuff. He hacked into my profile and started putting like naked pictures of me. But the point where I was like, it's enough, where I feared for my life was when he told me about the gun. I asked him to meet me by the entrance of Walmart where it's public so he can't do anything. And even though we were there, he said he, that he wanted to talk to me, that he, to leave with him. And I said, no, I don't want to. I have to go to work right now. He's like, what's more important, us or your work? I was like, it's not even about that. I Like, I need to work. I can't miss work. And so he, um, he went on and grabbed my shoulders and started pushing me towards the car. And I didn't, I, I said, no, I can't go. And then he's like, if you don't go with me, I'm going to pull out this gun. I just freaked out. I didn't like scream. I didn't do anything. I just grabbed onto one of the pole, the red poles in front of Walmart. And he just, he was trying to pull me away. But I just, I knew that something really bad was going to happen if, if I ha let go. So a lady saw and she called the cops and he kind of like softened up a little bit. And I just started walking inside. He started walking with me and I said, I'm going to go. And as soon as I was kind of far, I told him that I had touched his gun in his pocket because he had never shown it to me. But I had felt it while he, we were struggling. He said it was, he told me it was my phone. I was afraid of my life now.